Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here. I've, uh, I've just done my way up to uh, just done my way up to uh, Sheffield now, let's have a look. It's a nice day today, isn't it? Somebody's just sent me uh, Somebody's just sent me a uh, a video, I'm going to put it on now I'm not sure if it's good, here we are I'm going to put, I'm going to play this to you now, see what you think This is Mr. Barry Hearn as in Bazza, aka the godfather of British boxing. Now, you ready? He's waiting for his position to be clarified. Son of a bitch takes a tough fight. So what does Dillian White do before he's waiting for his position to be clarified? Son of a bitch takes a tough fight. This doesn't happen in boxing, does it? All these people in boxing, they talk about tough fights out they're not scared of anyone, they'll fight anyone. But the reality is, money talks. So Tyson Fury is the best gypsy boxer in the world, isn't he? The king of the gypsies, he'll fight any man whatsoever. Uh, his next opponent's ranked number 93 with box rank. Congratulations, make of it what you want. But let's have no bullshit, shall we? We're in the money business. And we're here to make a lot of money for the fighters because they're the ones that are entertaining us and putting it all on the line. There's always going to be these little tiny people out there knocking boxers and boxing, whether it should, should it be legal, is this a mismatch, is this a pay-per-view show, have I got to pay for it? Let me tell you the answer is, you've got to pay for it. You want to see quality and you want to see it on these shores, these kids have got to be paid. If you don't like it, do me one favour, don't watch. There's no one coming round your house telling you you've got to spend 1999. <clears throat> oh Barry Hearn, eh? Bless him. I like Barry Hearn though. Uh, I don't know uh, how, how I can uh, defend that though. Shout out to Bullseye. Thanks for Magic Trees. We're on Arctic White today. Uh, the only thing I've ever had out of boxing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to make of that, but Bazza's obviously he's lost his marbles, hasn't he, Barry? I think what Barry needs to do is he needs to uh, he needs to be put in a home, doesn't he? What is his mid seventies now? He's knocking on a bit. He's he's ready for. Uh, you know, it's past his bedtime, isn't it? Two o'clock in the afternoon, he'll be ready for a nap. Leave the press conference, press conferences to Eddie Barry. But, I agree with him though, Dillian White's fight against Rivers, that's the, uh, that's the best fight uh, at the moment, I think. Let's have a look. Sat now, that's the best fight out there. Uh, from destination. Yeah, I think that's the best, the best uh, one. Uh. The route is being calculated. Oh. Prepare to turn better. left. That look better. Two pair of glasses on at once. <laughs> I put one pair on. Right, let's go. Uh, it's quite shocking, actually, that from Barry Hearn. It's uh, quite Please shocking turn left because one hundred yards at the end of the road onto Chesterton Road. 
it's uh, very shocking to be honest. Now turn left. Uh, go this way. But what can you do? It's Barry Hearn, isn't it? He's uh, you know he's got a lot of pull. He's an Hall of Fame promoter, isn't he? So he, he can say what he wants, Make can't he? If possible. Look what he look what he's uh, achieved in boxing. Now look. turn left. Caution. Restricted access. Restricted access. I mean, that never bothered me. Right in 100 yards at the end of the road onto Doncaster Road. Now turn right. But uh, one of them things in it. It's just boxing, isn't it? I think Rivers is a good fighter though, 26 and now 18 KOs. But who's he beat, really? Who's Rivers beat? Dillian White, at least he's beat uh, a world champion in Parker. Uh, Please turn right. In Lucas Brown is another road. world champion, so he's Eight, beat two six, world champions. Three, zero. Now turn so, second right. That's doing me, I didn't that. Turn that off. Uh, so. Is it a good fight? Yeah, it's a good fight, that. Is David Price against Dave Allen a good fight? Yeah, because Dave Allen's making his way, isn't he? And Price is on slide, so that's probably a 50-50. Dillian against Rivers. I'd back Dillian to beat Rivers. I think it's a risky fight when you've got the Joshua fight around the corner and he's got an high ranking. So I commend Dillian White for taking that fight instead of parking himself up. But Sky have had to get him out, haven't they, really, because They've not had a pay-per-view this year yet. And Joshua's pay-per-view in America, that's not nailed on, is it? So they've put Please they've got all, the they've got all their eggs. The they've got all their eggs uh, in one basket, aren't they, really? So it's one of them things, isn't it? But uh, I thought Bazza could have put it a bit better. Uh, it's like he didn't have any respect for anybody, you know, Sky subscribers and things like that. It's like he weren't bothered. And I don't, I don't think that's good, to be honest. I don't think that's good at all. But, uh, well, you know, you've got to understand that you're going to alienate a few people. But what he's just said there, Barry Hearn, can't be good, can it? Because, look at all that there. Look at dust there. Unbelievable. What he's just said there, Barry Hearn, can't be good because anybody who's a Sky subscriber, and if they like what he said, they're already going to subscribe anyway. They're already subscribing. So, you like it, don't you? But if you didn't like it and you're a Sky subscriber, you're going to cancel, aren't you? So. I think there'll be a lot of people getting on their phones today, ringing up and complaining about what Barry Hearn said. And I think that they've got to the stage now where Matchroom are abusing, not only abusing the fans, but they are abusing, uh, they're abusing the, the, the head honchos at Sky, aren't they? Because they're not going to be happy with that. I mean, on. Would you be happy with that if you were a Sky subscriber or if you were uh, if you were employed by uh, Sky? At the roundabout onto the A629. So, but what can you do? What can you do? It's uh, one of those things, isn't it? But, uh, beautiful day today, isn't it? Beautiful day today. It's sunbathing weather, isn't it? Sunbathing weather. Yeah, it's sunbathing weather. Oops, a daisy. I think I'll just make a quick phone call while I'm driving. Have a look. Hi, 
you doing? Not bad, Paul. I'm just filming now. I'm just on my way up to Sheffield to see Tommy and Glyn at three o'clock, and then I'm going to come and see you. Are you about? Gym. Yeah. Gym, yeah. Gym, yeah. What time are you there? Yeah. Five or something. Four. Yeah, between five and eight past four. Between five and eight past I'll be there at five then, bang on. And we'll leave, we'll leave seven, so... Brilliant. Um, yeah. Alright, All right, then, mate. I'll see you in a bit, pal. All right, Rob. Take care. Bye. 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 Right, three o'clock, Glyn Rose Gym. Five o'clock, Mick Wales Gym. I think I'll get some out this week. We'll probably do it every week now, leading up to Tommy and Josh Wales fights. Just get it out there for these lads. Uh, if any boxing fans out there want to uh, go to Josh Wales fight on July 5th at Ponds Ford or Tommy Frank's fight at July 5th on, at Ponds Ford, the answer is simple. Get in touch with them on Twitter at Super Tommy Frank or at J Boy Outlaw. Now exit the roundabout. If you get in touch with them on there, and they'll Please let you know. Take the second exit at the roundabout onto the A630. Or if you get in touch with me uh, on Twitter, it's at Corner Porky. Now Although I ain't got a password at the moment because you get told off for tweet without asking. How's about that? How bad's that? Hey, this camera picture alright. Got my camera earlier and uh, I thought I'd done knackered picture up, focus on it, but it looks alright now. Previous two videos that picture weren't very good enough. I think I probably just knocked it. But uh it looks alright now. My head's gonna look like a baked bean, isn't it? This way. The New York Stadium, Rotherham. Brilliant. Uh, so, if anybody. Talk to me at night. When you put a song on, on these, you don't get paid for it. So, I like this song. I keep waiting for you. He's nice. Alright. Nice weather, isn't it, love? I was just doing a bit of filming. Talking boxing. Are you a boxing fan? I like boxing. Who's your favourite fighter? Anthony Joshua. He's crap. He's what? He's beautiful. <laughs> Jesus. Go on, get your sent off, love. Hey, what can you do? Do Joshua fans, eh? It's no good, is it? I get away from here in that Persia, a Femi fan. No good. Have some music on. I'm a rate radio head, aren't I? You interrupt me all the time. And I thought, well, no, I don't. Proper radio head. Do you know where I get that from? I'll tell you where I get that from, shall I? And I'm really bored by it. Prison. So that's all you've got, innit, in jail? A radio, innit? In olden days, before they get you your tellers. And you didn't ring either of us. Oh. Can you do? Woo! Got 
see me some think here with this sunroof open. Oh, this has made me think, why don't you spend more time on FIFA? I'm to the Joshua, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. That is alright, isn't it? Hey? It's just that this doesn't require that Not good, that is it. He needs to fight somebody though, doesn't he? He's beautiful, he ain't got an opponent though, has he? He's fighting TBA! I want to talk about pensions in boxing. What what are people going to do about pensions in boxing? Hey? Nobody's doing anything about it, are they? Nobody's doing nothing. Nobody's doing note about pensions in boxing. So, nobody's doing anything about it. I wonder what's going to happen to Anthony Crawler now. Is he going to uh, is he going to fight again, Anthony Crawler? Hey. Hey. Is Crawler going to fight again? Yeah, probably. He's probably going to fight Luke Campbell, isn't he, at 140. That's what I think, anyway. I think he'll fight Luke Campbell. Yeah. We'll see, but we're heading over to Hillsborough now. Glen Roads. I was going to go to Harrison's cameras, but looks all right, picture now. Huh? Actually, I must have just done some wrong way. What a beautiful day today, isn't it? Do you know when I see weather like this? Do you know what I feel like doing? I'm trying to race me. Huh? When I see beautiful weather like this, all I feel like doing. I just feel like going out. Getting out of my face. Just going to a pub. Just buying loads of cold beer and sitting outside and snorting loads of drugs. Just getting out of my head, but I've got to get it out of my head, man. It's like a battle every fucking day. It's like I'm battling with summer. But uh, getting back to Barry Earn, I don't really think Barry gives a shit about. Like, mate. I don't think Barry gives a shit about the fans because the past caving now aren't they macho really past caring as regards the fans it's and I think he's lost his marbles a little bit there but I do admire him for what he's just done but it's like they haven't got a care in the world I mean Barry Hearn never usually gets involved in boxing but he leaves it to Eduardo, doesn't he? But for him to come out and say that on Sky, I don't know. But one thing he is saying though, Dillian White's opponent beats TBA. He beats Swartz. And I think he beats Brazil. So Dillian White's opponent is the toughest opponent out of the top four. So I think he has to be given credit for that because it's not a world title fight. But to cushion the blow if he loses, they're going to give him pay-per-view. But I do think that Barry Hearn has damaged the pay-per-view market for him now because the top three not fighting a hard opponent is going to put pressure on the pay-per-view model as a whole. So whoever Dillian F White fights, I don't think he's in a w uh, he's in a position where he's going to win. The only people that are going to agree with Barry Hearn are Dillian White's team, aren't they? They're going to say, well said, Baz. Because they're all getting paid, aren't they? Dave Allen's not going to knock it. He'll be coming out with David Price saying things like, it's a great fight, it's a great fight. Because they're chief support, aren't they? They're going to be getting paid, aren't they? They'll be on probably either 450 grand a piece. Chief support on a Sky pay-per-view, they're going to get paid, aren't they? So, 
but it's Dillian White's show, so whatever they get, it's down to Dillian White. So you're going to see a lot of rimming in the next few months from people who were on that card saying, it's a great show. It ain't a great show, it's a fantastic non-pay-per-view show, but it barely scrapes pay-per-view, doesn't it, if that. Well, like I've said, in the current climate, it's a pay-per-view, it's pay-per-view fight. Now, Barry Hearn said that, all them people who are on that show are now going to go to their social media accounts, they're going to spread the gospel with all the casuals that it's a great show. That's just how boxing works, I'm afraid, and if I were advising Dillian White, would I be running around saying it's a great show? I don't know. Is it a pay-per-view? I'd probably not say. I have a bit about me, don't I? But we're going to see, aren't we? Money, make, money makes people do crazy things, doesn't it? But I'm only just starting out with my channel. Have I come the wrong way here? I've come the wrong fucking way, haven't I? Jesus. Hello. Yeah, I've come the wrong way now. See, that's for talking. I always get confused when I come to Sheffield. I come here every day and I get confused. If I whack my head on windscreen, I get unconfused, don't I? What lane you in here, love? So if you're in a quick car, you can get away with murder at junctions, can't you? This way. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nearly here now. A few miles. Uh, but we're, we're going to see, aren't we? We're going to see what. Uh, we'll see what. Uh, what. What they're, what they're going to do now with this show. Uh, I'm glad Dave Allen's getting out again. Uh, I think David Price has shot to bits. I think Dave Allen stops him. I think he proper stops him. If he doesn't stop him and he takes shots off Price, like he did Brown, he might not be there to survive it. But I think David will be alright against David Price. He's seen better days. And if you get beat against Dave Allen, you're not really going anywhere, are you? That's what I think. I don't think you're going anywhere at all. But, so it's just one of them things, isn't it? But uh so 23 minutes. Did anybody watch the Daniel Debar fight at the weekend? I thought that was a good fight, that. I thought that was a good fight. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit of shopping, I think, after I've seen Glyn and Tommy. Fancy another couple of Lacoste t-shirts. I usually get a... Uh, I buy a couple, don't... Well, hang on a minute. This way, in it. Down here, in it. Let's just go down here. I buy a couple every other, every couple of months. I get a couple. Uh, summer's here now, isn't it? So it's all looking. Uh, got, a, got to get a nice T-shirt. I'm going through all the cost phase, but I also I had something out off this kid, but I don't see him now. I got to pay him. That's crap, isn't it? But I used to get them real easy ones off Rob. You be alright in that Rob. But he don't come to see me no more. Sadly. But it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. But we're plodding on, aren't we? Uh, I think Shannon Courtney's gonna be on that show, isn't she? Uh, uh. So So that's looking all right for her, isn't it? But is she going to do out in the sport? I don't know, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So 
Let's have a look. Four minutes to go. So I think we'll probably end this here now. So I'm nearly here now. So electrical supplies. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Thanks very, thanks very much to uh, Bullseye for for the magic trees and that. Thank you very much. And. Uh, Thank you to uh, thanks very much to uh, Kev at South Yorkshire Packaging. All right, peace out. Keep on trucking. Boom.